and welcome to another episode of Practical IT. In this episode, we're going to look at the Task Select package or Task Cell on an Ubuntu Linux server. Let's get started. All right, as you can see on my screen, I have a virtual machine of Ubuntu Linux. And just for the sake of proof here, we will. Do you name dash a? It is running in Ubuntu. Uh, this is 18.04 LTS server. And so we are going to actually switch over to my Mac terminal just to make this a little easier and make the text larger. We are going to SSH into this new server. and make our text a little bit larger for you all to see. If we do which task cell, it's not installed, so we need to install it. So sudo apt install task cell, and it's gonna go ahead and install this package for us. All right, so, if we again do which test cell, we can see it's in user bin and the application is called test cell. So let's take a quick look at the code for this. sudo last test cell. All right, so you can see that this was written between 2004 and updated through 2011. So it's not the most up-to-date piece of software, but it is still very useful. Depending on your level of comfort, you can go through and see what everything does in here and decide if you want to make any modifications. But for our purposes, we are just going to run the command. So sudo task cell will bring us up a software selection menu in N curses. And so we can go through this and decide what we might want to install. And it will install the proper packages for us. So as you can see, this is just basic Ubuntu server and open SSH installed. And if we go back up, it's also got Ubuntu cloud image, and that is it. So if we, for instance, wanted to take our Ubuntu server install and turn it into a Ubuntu budgie, we could select the budgie live CD option, and it will install the proper packages. So usually what people will do with this is they might install LAMP server. So it installs your Apache, your MySQL, and your PHP with all the trimmings. That is one option. A lot of people would use this to install DNS or a mail server or Postgres. Uh, or print server, etc. So for our purposes here, we are going to just install the LAMP server that's selected. We'll hit tab to OK. And it will go ahead and install this for us. So it's retrieving 42 files and it will install those here shortly and I'll be right back after this gets finished. Before I go, while you've got a couple of seconds, why don't you take a moment and go ahead and click that like button and subscribe if you have not done so. You've got the option also of clicking on the bell to get notifications when new videos are released. I'll see you in a few moments. All right, and that has been completed. Uh, if we do which MySQL, it will tell us 
user bin MySQL. We could also simply go over to Firefox and jump into a new window. 134 is our IP address. And so it is showing that it's running Apache 2. This is the default page here. And it talks about the default configuration being different from upstream and all that fun stuff. You might be thinking, well, do I really have to use that obnoxious pink menu system or does this give me some extra command line options? Well, you've got a great thought process. And so if we do man task select, you've also got options to do this by the command line. So task select, install, and then your option that you want to install. And you can find all kinds of options here. So task dash packages and list tasks will be important options. We want list tasks and it will spit you back the list that you would normally see in that obnoxious pink venue system. Uh, U obviously means uninstalled. I means installed. So we've got the cloud image, LAMP server, and if we come down here, open SSH server and just server is the basic Ubuntu server. So this can be very helpful if for instance, you're spinning up a server on DigitalOcean or a Vulture, and you want to be able to do your installations quickly. You can install task select and then get your stuff installed, and then you can remove that package even so that it's no longer available if you're using that machine for a single uh, purpose. On that note, I will go ahead and end the video. I thank you all for watching and appreciate your support. Have a great day.